Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have the quarterfinals of the YCL Wi-Fi. So, we ended the regular season with a 7-2 record. That is actually the best record we've ever had in the regular season of a draft league, so I was very happy about that. Uh, that was good enough to land us in the number four seed overall in this tournament. Uh, funny thing was, we were actually in a three-way tie with two other teams with that same record, but unfortunately we had the lowest differential of all the teams, so we wound up at the bottom of that tiebreaker, but that's okay. Um, and that means that we are going to be going up against the number five seed uh, in the top eight cut of the playoffs. And that is going to be a team that has a six and three record in the regular season. So they had a very good regular season as well. So obviously at this point um, in the playoffs, in the quarterfinals, the team that wins will advance to the semifinals and the team that loses will be eliminated from the tournament. So every game is obviously a must win from this point forward if we want to get up to winning that YCL Wi-Fi championship. So having said all of that, we're going to get into the match. And that is going to be against Yum Yum Tum Tum. So... Uh, looking at his team, um, so I'm actually a little bit surprised that he is bringing the Spiritomb um, as far as his uh, draft is concerned. Everything else there is uh, pretty expected, so what do I want to lead with is the question, and I think the answer to that is going to be the Galvantula, so we're going to go with that. And hopefully that will work out for us. So obviously, once again, uh, with this being the quarterfinals, it is do or die uh, at this point in the playoffs. So um, there he is, and he's going to go ahead and lead with the Jirachi, so that's not too bad for us as we do lead with the Galvantula. So, uh, we kind of have a choice to make at this point. We could go ahead and set up the uh, sticky web on him, or we could go for the uh, the U-turn pivot. Um, the sticky web actually does do quite a bit of work to his team, so I think we're just going to go ahead and try to get that set up early. So he actually outspeeds us and hits us with the iron head, so that's not good. Takes us down by about a third, and he gets the flinch uh, first first time, so that kind of sucks. Um, that also breaks our focus sash, so that really sucks, and we know that he outspeeds us now, so he's either going to be max speed or he's going to be choice scarf, one or the other. Um... I don't know if we really want to find out which one. Um, I think uh, we might have to change things up a little bit here. So I think we're going to go ahead and switch out into the Corviknight, actually. So uh, I'm going to think he might be Scarf, actually. So here's the Corviknight, and um, he is going to Iron Head again. So uh, that shouldn't do too much damage to us, and indeed it doesn't. And then uh, we're going to get some HP back with the leftovers. So that's not bad. So... Um, if he is Scarf, he's definitely going to want to switch. We don't know that for sure, but it's a decent bet. So I think we're actually just going to go U-turn here, uh, predicting the switch on his side, since um, we're predicting a Scarf. And he does switch out, so this thing is probably going to be Scarf. So uh, he's going to go ahead and come in with the Hydreigon. So that's not bad at all for us, as we are going to hit this thing with a U-turn. Uh, super effective. That's going to do a little less than half, uh, which is pretty good, actually. And we are going to get that pivot. So uh, we get to bring in a matchup on this thing. And what do we want to bring in to face the Hydreigon is the question. Mm, and that is a good question, actually. <laughs> um, we could go Assault Vest Gudra. Um, we could go Type Null. I think we're going to go Type Null, actually. So we're going to go ahead and come in with uh, Tapu Null, rather. And so, um, I think, so, I think the best thing we can possibly do in this situation is just U-turn again. So I think we're just going to U-turn with the Type Null. And he's going to U-turn also, so that's fine. So that's not going to do much of anything to us. Um, he gets the pivot first, which is actually good for us because we're going to get the uh, matchup here based on whatever he decides to bring in. So he is going to bring in the Tentacruel, so that's fine. 
So we're gonna get the U-turn uh, pivot on this thing. So we get a little bit of chip damage and then the switch, of course. So um, we could go right into uh, Galvantula once again here and I think that might actually be, well, we actually have a, quite a few different uh, decent options against this thing. We could go into Galvantula to try and set the webs up um, and I think actually that's what we wanna do. So we're gonna go into uh, the Galvantula here. Our sash is broken which sucks, but um, this thing is also gonna get some HP back with the Black Sludge. Um, but I th don't think he's gonna wanna stay in on this matchup, so I think we just go uh, Sticky Web here and get that Entry Hazard set up. So uh, no, he actually does stay in, so that's interesting. So we do get the Sticky Web on uh, set up on his side, which is good. Uh, he's gonna go Toxic Spike, so that's actually not great for us. So um, we trade Hazards there, and then he gets that uh, HP recovery there with the um, Black Sludge, so I think this turn we're definitely going to Volt Switch on him. So yeah, we're just gonna do that um, this time around. So yeah, we might have to get those Toxic Spikes off the board. Uh, he is gonna switch though with the one layer up, and what's he gonna switch in with? It's gonna be the Sylveon, okay. So um, he's gonna get the speed reduction off the Sticky Web there. And then uh, we are going to Volt Switch on this thing. So we're going to get that chip and the switch. This thing looks to be probably pretty uh, specially defensive. So uh, we do get a matchup on the Sylveon. Um, anything we bring in, either, aside from either the Cress or the um, Corviknight, is going to get poisoned. So we have to be mindful of that. And I think we might want the Cress, actually. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and switch in with the Cresselia at this point and see if we maybe can't get... Um, something going here. So he is going to regain some HP with the leftovers, which kind of sucks. Um, so at this point, uh, we're not really sure what this thing is going to want to do, but I think we are, we're just going to go ahead and pop a substitute actually, um, just to see what he wants to do. And we should definitely outspeed this thing since the sticky web, uh, cut its speed. So... Um, he is going to stay in, so we are going to get the substitute off, and we're going to see what he wants to do, and he was Mystical Fire, so maybe predicting the Corviknight to come in, so, um, that is not actually even going to be enough to break our substitute, so that's actually pretty incredible for us, uh, so we still have the sub up, we get some leftovers recovery, he is also going to get some leftovers recovery, so at this point we definitely want to just go ahead and uh, pop off a Calm Mind here, so that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, he is going to switch, and more than likely he's going to, well, we'll see what he wants to switch into, and it's going to be the Mind Shao. Uh, so that's actually not bad for us. He gets the uh, speed reduction on the Sticky Web, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and Calm Mind here. So we're going to get that special attack and special defense increase, which is good. So um, we might actually outspeed this thing, I think, uh, now that uh, it had its speed cut from the sticky web. So I think we might actually want to go on the offense this turn and go for a Psy Shock. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do and hope that we outspeed. And we do outspeed, so we're going to go ahead and hit this thing with a plus one Psy Shock, which is good. And we'll see how much it does. It's enough to just one-shot this thing outright, so that is pretty incredible, actually. Um, so that we're going to get rid of that Mind Shao, which is great for us. That's going to knock him down to five. And then we do get more HP back from the leftovers. And we still have the substitute up as well. So that is pretty incredible. So that is really good for us. So we will see what he wants to come in with now. So he probably has two choices in my opinion, and I'm really hoping that he chooses one over the other, either the Jirachi or the Hydreigon. I'm hoping to see Hydreigon because we really don't have a move for Jirachi on this set, unfortunately. Um, we did not have room to put the coverage on. It's kind of a decision we had to make. So um, yeah, hopefully he doesn't come in with that. And he does come in with the Hydreigon, so that's actually pretty incredible. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So. Um, we could fire off a Moon Blast here, or we could Calm Mind again. I think the smart thing to do is just fire off the Moon Blast, so we're going to do that. And uh, he's going to U-turn, so that kind of sucks, though. Um, so he's going to see our last move um, for information. He's going to break the sub with the U-turn, um, but it kind of is what it is at that point. He is going to get the uh, mandatory switch there, and we'll see what he wants to come in with. Probably... 
could definitely be the uh, Jirachi, um, but we'll see what he wants to do. And yeah, I think it's is going to be the Jirachi, unfortunately. So we do get the uh, speed reduction on the sticky web, which is nice. Um, but we're going to moon blast this thing at plus one and see how much it does. And it really doesn't do much of anything, unfortunately. So uh, we do get the HP back with the leftovers, which is nice. We're back up to full. Um, I think we want to switch out here, uh, but the problem is I don't really know what to switch into because he does have a lot of options. Uh, Drachi has a really wide move pool, so um, maybe we would be better to just stay in and take an attack from this thing now. Maybe. I think we just... He probably does have the coverage, unfortunately, so if really anything we switch into is going to be kind of bad for us in a way. Um, I think we might actually... It's actually kind of a rough situation to be in because we want to kind of scout this thing, but yeah, I think we have to switch though. So we're gonna we're gonna switch into Corviknight and hope to see the Iron Head again. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then maybe we can defog the Toxic Spikes away. So we're gonna come in with Corviknight here, and um, he is gonna U-turn himself. Okay, so he did predict the switch, which kind of sucks for us. Um, he is gonna get that pivot as well. So we'll see what he wants to come in with here. So um, we don't take much damage from that. That's the only good news. So he's going to come in with the Hydreigon. So that's definitely not good news for us since this thing can definitely carry a fire move. So um, yeah, this is kind of bad in a way for us. Um, so we could we could stay in, um, but that would if he if he does go for the fire move that would be really bad for us i don't think we can take one and it would we lose our ability to kind of um deal with the hazards on the field so i think um i think we just have to come in with gudra here and take the poison which kind of sucks um but it is what it is so um, we can't take the risk on the fire move so we're going to come in with gudra and we do take the poison which sucks and um he is going to dark pulse so it's a good thing that we got out um, so that is going to do quite a bit, actually, to us, despite being max HP with an Assault Vest. So he might be choice spec, actually. So, um, yeah, that's not great. And then um, we take poison damage. So uh, not a great situation to be in. I think he's probably going to want to come in with Sylveon at this point. So I think we just go uh, Sludge Wave, actually. So we're just going to click Sludge Wave. And uh, indeed, he does go for the Switch. And so he is going to come in with the Sylveon, so that is really good for us. So um, he does get the speed reduction off the Sticky Web, and then we go for a Sludge Wave here. Uh, hopefully it does a good amount, and it does do a really good amount, actually. That knocks him into uh, down to about a third HP. He does get some HP back on Leftovers. Based on that damage output, though, as we take more damage from the poison, I think another Sludge Wave will take him out at this point. So I think we just kind of have to stay in and go for it here. Uh, so we're going to do that and uh, hope that he either stays in. And he does stay in, but he protects. He does have the protect on deck, so that sucks. Um, so not going to get him with the Sludge Wave. Um, and then we he does stall out another turn of Leftovers Recovery. Uh, as well, we do take another round of poison, so that really sucks because now uh, I don't know if another sludge wave is going to be enough to take him out or not, but unfortunately we kind of don't have the luxury of switching Gudra at this point since we know his moveset, so I think we have to just stay in and sludge wave, hope for the best, and he is going to switch, so that sucks, and he is going to switch in with the Tentacruel, so that also sucks, and uh, he does take the speed reduction. So um, we're going to Sludge Wave this thing, so um, going to get a little bit of chip on it, not much, uh, unfortunately. So And then he is going to gain some HP back with the Black Sludge, and we're going to take another round of poison damage. So the poison is really just eating us alive here, which sucks. So we could stay in and try to get chip on the Tentacruel, or we could switch out ourselves and... Um, Unfortunately, I think the best thing we can do at this point with, with Gudra is just stay in and Thunderbolt this thing to try and get some chips. So that's what we're going to do. We definitely outspeed because of the uh, sticky web. So that is going to do a ton of damage to this thing, actually. Um, that is going to knock him a little below half. But then he's going to rapid spin, um, which is going to up his speed and get rid of the um, sticky web on his side of the field. So that kind of sucks. Um, we're still sitting here taking poison damage, which also sucks. And we do survive that poison damage with 7 HP uh, in the red. So, um, 
Now the question is, do we save Gudra for fodder, or I think we actually just have to let Gudra go down here, um, and then to get a clean switch, which sucks, but kind of is what it is. So we're just going to, um, I think we're just going to uh, click Draco Meteor here and see what happens. So he's actually going to outspeed us now, which sucks, and then he's going to sludge bomb us, which is going to get rid of the Gudra, and that is going to knock us down to five. So that does suck. Uh, we do lose Gudra there, so um, at this point, I think we just have to go ahead. Um, we still the toxic spikes are still up on our side of the board, which sucks. So I think we have to come in with Corviknight here and get those out off the field. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and come in with Corv, and um, I think we just have to defog here, unfortunately. So um, he could stay in and scald, and if he gets a burn, that would really suck. Um, but I think that's, I mean, we could Brave Bird as well. Um, so he doesn't have, I mean, he does have the Jirachi, but so actually this is a little bit of a choice. Um, this is a little bit of a choice to make. So we could either or, um, it's either going to be Defog or Brave Bird. Um, I th you know what? I think we just actually Brave Bird here. Yeah, I think we Brave Bird here. Um, so he's probably going to out... No, uh, he does switch, so that sucks. So he's going to gonna come in with the Jirachi. So we should have just defogged, um, unfortunately. So we're going to Brave Bird this thing. And how much is it going to do? It's going to do a little bit, actually. It's going to do a decent uh, chip. So um, we are going to get some HP back with the leftovers. So um, the question is, what is this thing going to want to lock itself into? Um... So, yeah, kind of sucks because now if we come in with the type null, which would be our switch, we're going to have to take the poison. Um, so that's not great. I mean, we could come in with, I think we could, actually, you know what, I think, um, yeah, I think Chris Elia is the switch here. So we're going to do that. He is more than likely packing a fire move. So we're going to come in with the Cresselia, hoping that he goes for something like that. And uh, he does Fire Punch. Okay, so we'll see how much it does. Not too much, actually, so that is nice. And now he's going to be uh, Choice Locked into Fire Punch, more than likely. So um, that's actually pretty good for us. So um, I think we actually just stay in and Calm Mind, or actually substitute here. Um, yeah. Yeah, if we just stay in and substitute here even though we really don't have a move for this thing. Um, but yeah, he's going to switch, and he's going to go ahead and come in with the Spiritomb. Okay, so that's interesting. So uh, he's got the pressure. We're going to get the Substitute up, so that's good. Um, so we're going to get that on deck, and then we are going to regain some HP with the Leftovers. So um, we're going to see what he wants to do here. So I think, uh, I think we just Calm Mind. We are going to outspeed this thing for sure. Um, but I think we want to get a Calm Mind up, so we're going to do that. So that is going to get our, us our Special Attack and Special Defense increase. Not really sure what this thing is going to want to do to us, um, but I guess we're going to find out. So, um, he's going to go Phantom Force. Okay, that's interesting. So I think, actually if I'm not mistaken, I think that might actually hit through the Substitute. Um, so that's actually not good for us at all. Um, so that actually might take us out, so... Um, I think we actually have to switch here, so that is kind of, that kind of sucks, and we could, I mean, I think we have to come in with type null, um, and we're going to take a poison, which we really don't want to, but I think that's what we have to do, so yeah, we're, we have to do that, so that kind of sucks, but that's what we have to do, so we're going to switch out, and we're going to come in with the, uh, Tapu Null, knowing that the Phantom Force is not going to hit us, but we do have to take the poison, which sucks, so, um, there's the Phantom Force, of course, not going to do anything, um, and then we do take the poison damage. So, um, not really sure what this thing is going to want to do to us besides that. Um, I feel like, I don't know, actually. Um, I think we actually outspeed this thing, although I'm not 100% sure. But I think, and uh, we were running out of time, actually, too. So that sucks. Uh, so we're just going to click U-turn, I guess. Um, so, yeah, he's going to switch out. So uh, he's going to switch in with the uh, Sylveon, so that is okay. Uh, we are going to U-turn this thing. So we're going to get a little bit of chip and then uh, get the switch. So what are we going to want to come in with to face the Sylveon at this point is the question. 
And I think we might have to, we're getting down there, so I think it might be time to go ahead and go Hitmon Lee, I think. Mm. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and, despite the poison, we're going to go ahead and switch in with Hitmon Lee. So uh, we're getting down there in the time here, and uh, we're tied up in Pokemon, so uh, we're going to take the poison on Hitmon Lee, and then uh, he's going to regain some HP with the leftovers. So we're going to see, we're going to take the poison damage here, and then we're going to see what he wants to do. Uh, not much time left here in the match. We're going to go ahead and try to pop the normal gem fake out on this thing. So he's going to protect, so that sucks. Um, but we're going to go ahead and there's the normal gem fake out. So um, it's actually not going to pop the normal gem because of the protect, so that kind of sucks. Um, so he's going to go ahead and get some HP back with the leftovers, and we're going to take more poison damage. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually outspeed this thing, but um, we know this thing's full set, I think. So I think we have to go ahead and switch into the Null again, or the Corviknight. Or we could, you know what, I think actually we might just have to stay in and Poison Jab this thing and hope it kills. Yeah, we have to do that. And no, he, does, he switches, so that sucks. And he's going to switch in with the Spiritomb, so um, he's going to get the pressure coming into play. We only have a minute left here, so we're going to go ahead and Poison Jab this thing, which is not going to do much of anything at all. So this is going to really come down to the wire here. I guess the name of the game is we're just going to hopefully not lose anybody else within less than a minute here. Um, we take more Poison Damage, and then we're going to hope we just have more HP left at the end of the day. Um, and I guess we, at this point, we probably just switch in with Corviknight to take whatever this thing does. Corviknight or Type Null. I think type maybe Type Null, actually. Um, either Corviknight or Type Null has to switch in here. Um, I think it's... You know what? I think Corviknight. Yeah, because we have leftovers. It's either... Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll go Corviknight because we have leftovers, yeah. So we're going to switch in with Corviknight. This is the last move of the game here. Um, I don't think he has anything that's going to one-shot Corviknight, and uh, he just goes Phantom Force. So, um, yeah, so the game is actually over. We both have five Pokemon left at this point, so uh, it's just going to be a matter of whose Pokemon have more health. And, um, yeah, I, I guess we're going to find out who's going to go to the semifinals based on whose Pokemon has more health, so... Um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, click Defog here, and uh, we win. Okay, cool. So we won. Awesome. So we're going to get a 5-5 victory there over Yum Yum Tum Tum. Uh, that was a very grindy game. Um, obviously, it didn't really go anywhere. Um, just a lot of back and forth, uh, a lot of pivoting. But yeah, um, we are going to get the win on uh, a technicality of our Pokemon having more health, but we'll take it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> with that, uh, the Philadelphia Pidgeys are going to advance to an 8-2 and two record. As well, we are going to advance to the semifinals of the YCL Wi-Fi. So uh, that's pretty incredible. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, pumped up about that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see uh, where it goes from here. But... Um, Unfortunately, I think we already know who our opponent for the semifinals next week is going to be, and uh, it is going to be a rough one, so uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, uh, we're just going to enjoy this victory in the moment uh, here and now. So that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. Of course, featuring the upcoming YCL Wi-Fi semifinals match featuring the Philadelphia Pidgeys fly, Pidgeys fly. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.